Hello, Jill's Wellness Gym friends. I hope this finds you well. And welcome back to another 20 minute full body workout. You know by now, I love to bring fitness to everyone. For those who do not have weights at home, who do not like to necessarily use weights, but also using things that are very accessible and in the home. So today, all you're gonna need is one hand towel and one sort of face cloth. You can use the hand towel the whole time, but I used to like to use when we get onto the floor. Just using it for one foot, I like to use the smaller piece of cloth, being the hand towel. Let's get right into it. You're just gonna need your hand towel to start with. We are gonna do each move for about 45 seconds. We're gonna start with a bit of a side stretch. It's actually gonna be one of our first moves. So just have your feet about fit, feet width apart. Take those arms all the way up towards the sky. Keep the hips facing forward and just come side to side. So maybe inhale to one side, exhale to the other. And you're gonna hear me say this a lot. When we are using the towel, especially when we have it on our hands, I want you to have that tension. If I was standing right next to you, I could not get that towel off you, okay? You are pulling so tight. You, know, just, you do not need to pull extremely tight right now, just whilst we're warming up. Okay, come back to center. All we're gonna do is take that stretch forward and back. So reach forward, send those glutes back. Inhale, coming up. So send those glutes behind, chest forward, eyes forward. Feel that stretch in the back of the hamstrings. Coming up, two more. Last one. Okay, last little stretch, last little mobility, and then we're gonna get straight into it. Take your hands all the way up above the head once again, big core circles. So again, you're pulling on that towel, there's pure tension. Go one direction, and then take it in the other. You can have a slight micro bend, absolutely, in the legs if you wish. Let's go one more each side. And then we're gonna get right into it. Okay, that was just our warm up. First move, back lunge, right foot, and then, this is what I mean about holding on the towel. Let me come a little bit closer. Pull, 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 pull. Okay, I want full tension. About slightly wider than shoulder width. Back, right lunge, lift that towel up. Three, two, one, let's go. So, talk about using the arms. Feeling this in my core, belly button to spine, posterior tilt, slight tip of the pelvis. Use that breath. It is your biggest tool. Inhale back, exhale up. Keep going. Come on, we've got about five more. sides. So back with the left leg, take the arms above. Three, two, one. Let's go. Step back. Try and pull that towel apart. Keep those shoulders above the hips. Belly button to spine. I cannot remind you of that core engagement enough. And if your not knees aren't going all the way to the floor, don't worry about it. Just take it to your range of motion. But are you pulling on that towel? My arms are on fire. Yours should be too. Come on. If they're not on fire, you're not pulling that towel hard enough. Three more. Three. Two. One, and release. Okay, we're heading into a curtsy lunge. We're gonna start with the towel up above our head. Right leg is gonna go behind. We're gonna send the towel in the same direction as the foot. Take a peek. Three, two, one. So side and stand. So again, I've got full tension on that towel. You're using that core. I can see you're using it as a brake pad. Okay? I want full control in that core. Inhale down, exhale up. 
squeeze into that core. Who would have thought using a towel would be such a struggle? Come on. Three, two, last one, and release. Okay, we have one more. Heading to the other side, curtsy lunge on the left, and then we're gonna switch this towel for the smaller one. Or you can keep the same towel, whatever works for you. Have a little play. Three, two, one, let's go. Arms up, pull that towel, let's go. Over to the right. Now, if taking those hands over to the right are too much for you, just keep them above the head, but keep pulling on that towel. Okay, if you have, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's completely gone. <laughs> the coordination, if you have the coordination to add those arms in, please do. Squeeze into that core. Notice I'm keeping my hips forward. Come on, three, two, one, and release. I'm gonna pop this one off the side. I'm gonna grab my smaller towel. You can also do this with a pair of socks on, but you will need a hard service. I also have sliders. Some of you might have those at home. Take that towel, place it right into the ball of the foot of the right foot. We're gonna go into a back right lunge. Hands can be on the waist, hands can be up in the chest. Let's go. Now, if you've never done these before, just play with it, because you are gonna really need that core to bring that leg back in. Weight wants to be solid on that front heel. Take it all back, use that core, stand tall. Try not to lean over, I want shoulders over the hips. Leaning over is a completely different move. And release, shake it out. Place that face cloth or that towel, whatever you're using, or that woolly sock, right underneath the left ball of the foot. Let's take it back in three, two, one, let's go. So here you're really focusing on the glutes, on the core. Take a look at this bent stability leg too. Make sure you can see that big toe. The knee does not want to be in front of the toe. Weight on the heel. Woo, I'm feeling the burn, friends. I'm feeling the burn, I'm sure you are too. Use that slide, can you get a little bit lower? And lift. You've got it. Three, two, last one, and come on up. Okay, come face on. We're heading back into that curtsy. Exactly what we did before, but the foot is on the cloth. Hands can be at the waist, hands can be in front of the chest. I'm gonna play stay in front of the chest. Athletic stands, weight in the standing leg. Three, two, one, take that right leg, right leg blah, 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 out to the side and curtsy to me and lift. So again, you're gonna want to really engage that core, engage a little big work. We're strengthening the left glute, left side of the body. We're lengthening the right side of the body. Once we've done the other side, we'll be all equaled out. Don't shorten these moves. I want long, lean, strong bodies. Let's get three more. Three, two, last one, and release. Shake it out. Take a few breaths, have a sip of water. I want you to be fully ready for the next side so you can give it your all. That's why it's really important to take some breaks in between these moves. Stand tall on that right leg, hands on the hips, hands in front of the chest. Just slide that foot out a little bit and let's take it behind. So you can take it as far behind as you wish. Make sure you're not lunging, we've already done that. Take it across. Use that breath, inhale back, exhale up. Keep it going. 
Inhale back. Exhale, stand. Woo! Definitely feeling these. Four. Three. Let's skip two, go right to one. And release. Beautiful. One more standing move. Take that towel right underneath the right leg again. Come down, bend into those knees. I'm gonna do a straight leg extension and take it back in. Okay, that's all we're gonna do. Double time though. Three, two, one, let's go. So it's a quick drive, drive. You really want the ball, sorry, you really want the weight of the ball of the foot on that towel, weight in the left heel. You're gonna have some very shiny floors after this. We're strengthening the left, we're lengthening the right. Woo! Burn, baby, burn. I'm feeling this, I'm sure you are too. Four, three, two, one, and release. Woo! There's something about keeping that foot and that leg completely still. Okay, let's switch sides. Come down to that half squat position. We'll start nice and slow and then we'll pick up the pace. Come on down, hands in front of the chest. I'll come a little bit more on this angle, let's go. So start slow, get into it. Have that towel right underneath those toes. Let's pick up the pace, next 30 seconds, let's go. Double time. So, you really wanna to to think about pushing that glute and hamstring back behind you. Don't think about this, this standing leg. <laughs> That's gonna be on fire enough. Come on. Let's go. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one, and stand. Beautiful, let's take it down to the floor. Okay, we're heading into high plank. We're gonna place this towel right underneath our right toes. These could get tough. Take a break whenever you need to. Think about what I've said before. Imagine I have my finger right in the back of that back loop of your jeans. So high plank, draw that knee in, lift the hips, and back. So squeeze into that core. Lift that lower back and those hips up, back down. Lift, extend, contract, expand. Can we double time it? Come on. Four, three, two, one. Take a knee. I'll enjoy the break too, thank you very much. <laughs> Let's take it to the other side, exactly the same thing. Place it right under those toes. Come into that high plank. Remember, you can always go onto the forearms as well. Shoulders, elbows, wrists are all in line. High plank, draw that knee in, lift those hips. And lift. Nice and slow. You can absolutely tuck your chin in, nose to knee. Lift, contract, expand. Contract, expand. Woo! Double time in three, Two, one, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Nice work, okay. Let's see what's coming up next. We're gonna take a little sweep of the right foot. So come back into high plank, or come onto the forearms, whatever works for you. I'm gonna come all the way up, Take a look, I'm gonna sweep my right foot out to the right and bring it back in. If being in this position is far too much, just drop that knee down, okay? But focus, belly button to spine, slight up the pelvis, dig deep into that lower core. Come up that high plank if you can, and sweep. Sweep, nice and slow. 
Think outer right hip, outer right glute. Three, two, one. Come on down. We're switching to the other side. And then my friends, we have one more move on each side. We can do this. We're doing it together. This is a toughie. Three, two, one. Let's go. Use those modifications. Head down those forearms if you need to. Swipe and back. So I want you to be as light as possible on those toes. Focus into the core. Left glute. Left hip. Woo! Exhale. Exhale. Come on. You've got it. We've got 10 seconds. Four. Three. Two more. Two. And one. Come on down. Okay. You already know what's coming next because we've already done it. We're just going to combine those two moves. So, knee crunch, hip lift, and then a sweep. Right side first, then the left, and then you're done. Three, two, one, let's go. Hip lift, back, sweep. Knee, sweep. Knee drive, hip lift, and sweep. Knee drive, and sweep. You got it, come on. Slow and steady. Woo! Slower is stronger. We've got time for two more. Lift and sweep. Lift and sweep. And you are done on the right. We've got to finish on the left. And then we are done. Woo! Love these ones. I'm sure you're like, yeah, Joe, really love these ones. Okay, left toes, come on. Under that left claw, hug them underneath the claw, three, two, one. Let's go. Knee tuck and sweep. Tuck and sweep. And don't forget to lift those hips. Tuck and sweep. Tuck and sweep. Use that core and lift. And sweep, lift, come on, 15 seconds. Ooh, I lost my towel. Lift, and sweep, one more. Lift, and sweep, come on down. You are done. Let's just roll into those shoulders. Give them a little bit of life back after all that work. Add the elbows. Full sweep of the arm. And fantastic job. That's it. That's all for today. Head back to one of my other warm-up, cool-down, or stretching videos. And I hope to see you all very soon. Bye-bye.